Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, uh, invite uh, Professor Kanan Madhgalia to take a seat. And uh, we'll start the valedictory uh, session immediately. I'll also invite uh, Professors Bhandarkar and Professor Gaitonde to please come and take a seat. Uh, Professor Fatak could not uh, attend this session, so I'm here on his behalf. And uh, I'll take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all the coordinators who have been extremely uh, helpful and very, very accommodating to all. Uh, we have had a lot of glitches on our part as well, but everybody has been very accommodating and I thank you very much. And uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Professors Gaitonde and Bhandarkar uh, in our own way by uh, offering a floral bouquet just before uh, Professor Kannan Madhgalya starts his session. Professor Gaitonde. <laughs> Professor Bhandarkar. And thank you, Professor Madhgalya, for coming, deciding to come at the very last minute. Thank you so much. I'll now hand over the mic to Professor Madhgalya to make his valedictory remarks. Thank you. Good afternoon. So it gives me great pleasure to um, be part of this valedictory function in an, I believe, extremely well organized uh, program. Um, this is, um, let me just give a brief um, uh, overview of uh, some of the work we had to do to get this uh, project running and then uh, it will be clear why, uh, why I am overwhelmed um, by the success of this. Um, this uh, work is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. And um, uh, the main objective of that mission is to raise the levels of education in the country, not, not the top ranking institutes, not IITs, not NITs alone, not government colleges alone, but all um, colleges, not only engineering colleges, engineering colleges, science colleges, commerce colleges and so on and so forth. It is a mission started by MHRD to raise the levels of education in the country. Uh, as a part of this mission, uh, this project is trying to do its bit to help improve um, the education levels in the country, essentially uh, making available the good, good resources that we have at one place or at a few places, make them all available to everyone uh, who may be interested in. So this is uh, a talk to a teacher project. Talk to a teacher project has um, three institutes uh, participating in it, IIT Bombay, uh, Dayalbagh Educational Institute in Agra and um, Amrita University. These are the three institutions that are participating. There are um, a few types of projects that are supported by this uh, talk to a teacher project. One is uh, this, uh, we, I would like, I call this as thousand teacher training program of Professor Fatak. He is the one who conceived this, said that we should make available such a training program through technology and make it available to everybody. Of course, this is part of the um, live transmission or synchronous learning that it is possible to, um, to for an instructor to teach and for many people to attend and also give the facility to ask questions um, live. And of course, um, uh, there is, um, uh, there was always a concern as to whether such a scheme will work because um, what if all the thousand teachers or thousand participants start asking questions, then question and answer would take up all the time. Um, so, of course, when this uh, work started here at IIT Bombay, this particular namely synchronous thing uh, work started here 
in this very same room um, distance education program by Professor Fatak, uh, Moodle was not available, AVU was not available, but still the belief was that technology would help overcome the problems and uh, it turned out to be the, uh, the right guess and because we could see that uh, <clears throat> when I saw that uh, more than 700 people having written this uh, quiz, uh, maybe it is more, more now, it is an incredible thing that we have a tool like Moodle that will provide the extra support required so that it is not required for all 800 people to ask questions simultaneously. That if Professor Gaitonde answers the question of one or two people, that might answer the similar questions that 50 others might have. So, anyway, this is the 1000 teacher training program of uh, Professor Fatak. Um, so, in this um, lots of, uh, it started with computer science, then uh, electrical engineering, now mechanical engineering, we have some on photovoltaic cell and basic electronics to happen shortly. Um, so, the idea is that, uh, you know, to make available the fundamental courses, basic courses to be made available by the best, best faculty members in the country to everybody and uh, uh, because this program started in IIT, uh, the faculty members happen to be from IIT Bombay, but in the future we hope that this program will expand and we would be able to locate good faculty members from all institutions. They would all be able to participate and deliver lectures and share their wisdom with other uh, knowledge hungry uh, participants. So, that is the uh, overall framework of this, uh, this project itself. So, 1000 teacher training program uh, is one of the things supported by this talk to a teacher mission, talk to a teacher project. The other uh, very important activity funded by this project is something that we are using right now, namely AVU. AVU is fully supported by this project. And then the third component is uh, making available live classes of IIT Bombay to the outside world. And um, it was done um, through that uh, mode we have about, uh, about 50 to 60 uh, courses. For us, one course is a 40 hour subject. Um, those are in the process of getting created. Hopefully, those will be available soon. Uh, so, these are broadly some of the things that we, uh, this, this talk to a teacher project is supporting. I told you that I was overwhelmed because I am the national coordinator for this, uh, this talk to a teacher project and I am the one who made a presentation on behalf of um, all the component projects at the ministry before funding came and uh, to tell you the truth, I was really worried. Will this 1000 teacher training program work? And finally, people will say that it is Kandan Madhgalya who made the presentation, but it did not really work out. I was really worried. I am really delighted to see that it worked out very well. I mean, this is when I see 800 people or 700 people writing the quiz, I am pretty sure this is the first time that this is happening for um, and everything is open source. It, it, it is possible that there are some commercial institutions that offer such services for large number of people, but to do it completely as a open source that whatever you create will be made available to the, to the whole world, that you can continue to use it, you can continue to, um, you can continue to um, use it for a year for now, but hopefully we can even uh, make it available for longer period and that you will also, you will use it, you will also contribute. That is something incredible. I believe that this is the first time such a thing has happened. Um, I would like to um, take this opportunity to present, uh, not sure whether we can uh, show this. Show the tablet. So, you can see the map here, Professor Gaitonde has uh, created this. You can see the, um, the centers that participate in this uh, course are uh, indicated here and Professor Gaitonde was m remarking in the morning that you see Jaipur, Jabalpur, Nagpur and to some extent they are supposed to cater to uh, I would say more than half 
of the country. It is uh, we have a good coverage of the regions in the western zone and in the southern zone, although Karnataka is not represented much, Andhra is not represented much and of course, if you go to north India only Jaipur and then uh, maybe Jawalpur to some extent, but there is not much coverage. Uh, in that sense, um, uh, we it, it is it has still not become uh, national level activity because we still don't have centers in, for example, in the eastern part of the country. I was told that some of you had to come all the way from West Bengal, Gauhati, and so on, all the way to either Nagpur or Jawalpur or places like that. Uh, in the next uh, workshop, which is uh, which will start on 28th Tuesday. We have, I think, uh, a center in uh, Srinagar. We have a center in NIT Kurukshetra, and we probably have a center in uh, Gauhati as well. Uh, it uh, it helps improve, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, I would, we would really like to have lot more representation in the uh, northern part and uh, uh, particularly not eastern part of the country. Uh, the reason why I'm uh, mentioning this is, um, in case. Uh, we have representatives, we have faculty members from uh, any of these regions, either from North India or um, uh, Eastern part, Northeast. We would really like to have you um, participate uh, through your colleges as remote centers. We have, uh, you would have seen um, how this workshop was conducted. You would see how the uh, you would have seen the role of the remote centers. There is a lot of work to be done. There is a lot of responsibility placed on the remote center coordinator. In fact, we are really thankful to all the remote centers, the coordinators of the remote centers who worked very hard, not only now, but also um, from the time the remote center coordinators workshop started. There is a lot of work to be done. We are really thankful to the people who did this work uh, during this interim period. Um, that kind of uh, commitment and um, contribution is required for this to be a success and we would request the faculty members from northern part of the country and also northeast, northeastern part of the country to come forward and um, if you want us to talk to your college principal or head of the department or directors, vice chancellors and so on, we will be delighted to do that. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, some of our staff members have traveled to many centers as a part of this to just to make sure how um, things uh, worked out. What I would like to do is as a part of this uh, uh, inaugural function, uh, this um, uh, validatory function, I would want uh, some of the people who played an active role in uh, giving support from behind to maybe say a few words about what they did and what is their input to the uh, teachers. I think that will be very good, some of their feedback. So, with that, uh, maybe I will, um, uh, I will not take too much time. I am really thankful um, for the cooperation extended by all of you for uh, uh, putting in a lot of effort. In fact, uh, and, and also, um, uh, you know, putting in effort, I have seen some of your uh, feedback comments that um, uh, I have seen the excellent comments that you have given uh, on the way this uh, uh, material was delivered, uh, the way Professor uh, Gaitunde um, delivered and in fact, if I am not mistaken, some of, some of you had mentioned that Professor Gaitunde is a god, okay? You know, god of thermodynamics. You know, I am really, I am really delighted. Obviously, if you did not put in the time, you will not appreciate. So, I am really thankful to you. If there are no students, then there is no role for teachers. Uh, so, as a result for this program to succeed, the, the um, uh, students are uh, required, the student. Uh, in this case, I you know keep, um, keep using the word student. We are all students. We believe that uh, the best way to learn a subject is to teach a course. So, in that sense, uh, all teachers are also students. Um, uh, I am putting it in a positive way. So, uh, I am really delighted that um, all the uh, participants have uh, shown interest, lot of interest and 
that makes it when um, I am sure uh, when uh, Professor Gaitunde gives a lecture for 800 people, his enthusiasm level will be much higher than teaching a class for 5 students or 10 students, 20 students, whatever. So, the kind of work that the, that the instructor is motivated to put in becomes enormous if there is a good response. In that sense, I want to really thank you for uh, uh, participating and um, keeping Professor Gaitunde busy by asking him questions. And um, of course, uh, in turn, uh, Professor Gaitunde, uh, Gaitunde also kept you busy by uh, conducting quiz. The quiz uh, went on getting more and more difficult. And of course, this uh, Professor Bandarkar, um, if I am not mistaken, was the one who um, put together the quiz. And then apparently, they were there till late uh, last night. And possibly, they were doing some in the morning also. I think they got it done just in time, so that you could uh, the quiz could start in time. Um, but uh, I will give the phone to Professor Gaitonde. So, this is perhaps the last formal in interaction between us. Uh, first for, uh, uh, for about uh, 10 minutes, maybe there are 3 hands raised. But uh, next 10 minutes, there is going to be no technical interaction. But if uh, there are a few colleges or few remote centers who want to say something by remotely participating uh, in this uh, valedictory function, they are welcome. Dr. Brahmara, over to you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Um, good afternoon to everyone present at uh, IIT Bombay, all 31 coordinators and uh, participants in all the remote centers, including JNTU College of Engineering. Uh, the vision of Professor Fataki is extraordinary and we are glad that we could now reap the benefits of the vision. Uh, sir's passion is exemplary and uh, his lecture on uh, teaching and research is really inspiring, sir. Uh, one thing I would like to say that in the coordinators uh, workshop, whatever the feedback we had given regarding the way the topics are dealt with, regarding the way uh, the topics can be discussed, all those feedback was well taken and implemented in this uh, workshop. Uh, uh, another thing is coming to this uh, workshop in this big chain of uh, links from uh, the supporting team from there to us here. Uh, two links I found are the best. The first one is you as a teacher who had uh, made the thermodynamics uh, uh, totally put in a new perspective and uh, uh, in a very conceptual way uh, and made us feel that you are here in JNTU. Uh, and the second best link I felt is our participants who are the best and uh, really uh, willing to learn and very enthusiastic. Uh, overall, uh, uh, to our uh, JNTU College of Engineering, uh, two weeks at a stretch for the first time we have been conducting the workshop and uh, we were very apprehensive about uh, how it is uh, being uh, conducted and all. And finally, it is very fruitful, satisfying uh, experience. Uh, interacting with you in each and every aspect, correcting ourselves at each and every step and finally coming, seeing this day, sir. Over to you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Brahmara. Thank you, Dr. Brahmara. Now, uh, let me try a few other centers. PhD Koimtur, a quick comment and be brief, please. Thank you. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Sir, on behalf of PhD College of Technology, Coimbatore, and on behalf of uh, participant, I would like to thank uh, you and Professor Bandarkar for uh, organizing a workshop on thermodynamics and mechanical engineering. And uh, uh, there is a good response from our side. Um, and uh, even participants, they were expecting uh, some more subject from mechanical engineering to be handled by IIT Bombay professor through the same uh, uh, UAVU classroom. Uh, that's all, sir. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. NIT Trichy, over to you now. 
extend my humble gratitude to professor pathak who has been the brain behind this event and who took sheer interest in conducting a novel program throughout the nation on behalf of the participants i thank professor gaitonde and professor pandarkar who has been the tireless teaching the subject for two weeks my sincere thanks to dr mutra mukta madam gaya gaitonde madam mr sandan dikshit and susan for extending their helpful hand in supporting me from testing to the conduction of the workshop i also thank our director registrar and deans of our institute for uh, helping me in conducting this workshop i personally thank professor kumarajan network coordinator teaching assistant and technical assistant did everything in and out and had been a uh, successful one uh, for two weeks workshop also thank the participants who had meticulous involvement in participating and inter interacting in all its sense throughout the workshop thank you one and all over to you sir over and out pillai panvel over to you good afternoon everybody on behalf of all 900 participants i salute professor gaitonde and professor bandarkar for their commitment and sincere efforts towards uh, giving new view to all the teachers thank you very much sir and thank you to all supporting uh, team members of entire e outreach uh, family thank you very much sir svnit surat over to you for a brief comment good afternoon sir uh, we enjoyed all the sessions and perhaps uh, after the huge success of this program i believe it is more responsibility on to the part of mukta atre and uh, professor patak and the team because i believe that the uh, success it depends or 85% of the credit goes to the resource person who is conducting these lectures we also expected i expect that in heat transfer and cfd professor sukhat may as well as professor aw date should take few more few lectures and uh, another thing is today with me is uh, our head of department dr hb naik i will hand over him uh, the mic to him good afternoon professor it's privilege to listen to you here also as well as uh, the cds i have at my own pace and i am saying that i am also relearning the sub sub subject of thermodynamics and from next semester onward i will make some big changes in the way i am teaching the thermodynamics to second year student thank you thanks to iit bombay as usual thank you sir over to you uh, kk wag nashik over to you thank you very much for uh, teaching us the subject thermodynamics in a very simple and <coughs> very good manner we came to know that why mathematics is so much important in the, the branch of engineering so this is very helpful for us you have made very nice presentation for the workshop so being a participant from kk wag we all are very thankful to you professor bandarkar and all the teams of all the team of iit bombay so thank you very much sir hope the next session will start soon <laughs> we are waiting for that thank you sir over and out amrita koimbatur over to you hello sir good evening sir i am ravindran one of the participant from anamala university uh i would like to say my uh, heartful and uh, very deep uh, thanks to you sir and uh, we are very, very we are enjoying the course uh, we learnt um, uh, much more thing from you we would like to say uh, thanks to you and your uh, co partner uh, dr uh, professor pandarkar uh, we learnt uh, the basic things which will very useful for us and uh, not only that uh, we will uh, we already got a very good uh, knowledge uh, regarding thermodynamics Uh, very basically particularly the way in which you are explained everything is very neat sir very nice uh, each and every question uh, you accept the question in a pleasant manner with a pleasant mind and a face uh, the face is the index of mind everyone knows that your face which tells the clear cut idea regarding thermodynamics before you are delivering the answer we got a nice things from you and it is a great uh, psychological approach for us to treat the students while they are asking the question to us it is uh, the great things apart from our subject and uh, particularly sir 
particularly the illustration, sir, that is a very interesting one. Whatever the question, whether it is uh, asked from the basic side or it is from the higher level, whatever it may be the question, you simply take the paper and you take the pen and everything explained in a great manner. It's a nice, sir. Uh, we are enjoyed. We got a 100% knowledge from your side. It's a new way and uh, new things. Everything, uh, the credit goes to you, sir. Uh, the one sentence which already quoted by other uh, center, the god of thermodynamics, yes, it is truth, 100%. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, over to you, Mepkosh Leng Sivakasi. So this is Palani Chami, coordinator from Mepkosh Leng Engineering College, Sivakasi. So some of the participants, our participants wants to give feedback. I hand over the mic to them. Good afternoon to everyone. So it is a well organized and wonderful teamwork program. Those who are involved in this program, I personally thanks to them. At, at the meantime, it would be a very helpful to us to improve the, our teaching methodology. I really surprised Professor Kaitante teaching methodology. Whatever questions are asked, the, even if it is the re repeated question, with a smile face, he answered to that. It is really surprise to me. I never seen like this person. Tata, thanks to you. Once again, I thanks to my in this remote center and uh, talk to Palani Chami also. One of my colleague, Mr. Satyasa Prabhagar, will give the feedback. Good evening to the god of thermodynamics there and of course all the professors there sir uh, we don't know how to explain the give the feedback for this but we don't know whether after 20 years uh, uh, in the near future uh, if we are able to achieve half the way mark of your uh, way of teaching uh, that is uh, that is uh, more than enough for us in, the, in this career so even after 20 years it's very doubt for us uh, whether we can be able to achieve your level uh, half way mark that is uh, that's what we can say so far whatever the thermodynamics we have taught and the past 10 days whatever we have learned it is uh, nothing what we have taught is nothing that's what we have learned from this thank you sir over and over amal jyoti college kerala over to you uh, good afternoon professor uh, it is a great occasion to uh, thank you very much for this particular course uh, it is a great occasion to thank you uh, for the course you have conducted uh, at IIT Bombay and it is a golden uh, uh, feather on your uh, head, I can say, because uh, such a wonderful class, it is attended by around 1000 people all over the country. I uh, request you people to uh, further enhance this opportunity for many other subjects so that uh, many of the teachers and the students in the country will be benefited. I uh, personally uh, request a question to Professor. How you keep so cool when you are talking thermodynamics, uh, which is okay, cold, hot and cold, but you, cool, you are so cool to the questions as a Professor. <laughs> so I thank each and every one of the team work, uh, team and teamwork uh, which you have uh, shown to the country as well as the students as well as the uh, teachers together. I uh, say congratulate you your uh, venture. I hope you will continue it further. Thank you. Over. College of Engineering Pune, over to you. Sir, good afternoon sir. Indeed, this is my pleasure to give the feedback regarding this uh, uh, good week workshop on the thermodynamics. Uh, especially Gaitunde sir, you are a hero for us. I referred uh, you for my subject like uh, heat transfer. But uh, uh, regarding this thermodynamics, again you proved that you are ideal for us and uh, this gives us inspiration like me, uh, young teachers who entered in this field of uh, teaching. And you are a great motivation for us to uh, uh, um, you, uh, you can keep uh, behind, uh, before us as an idle teacher. So thank you very much sir for uh, uh, great uh, uh, inputs in uh, this 10 days. Thank you very much. 
Sir, I hand over my mic to uh, Professor. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I am Raman Gaukar from Kalyabhijing, Pune. Uh, on behalf of all the participants, I am really thankful to you for giving us an opportunity to uh, witness you, to hear from you, to learn the thermodynamics in a very fantastic and efficient manner. The overall discussion was totally on the fundamental basis, conceptual basis. This was an insight given to me as how to teach the subject, how to learn the subject and how to teach the subject. Probably the same feeling will be with all participants. As a uh, participant, as a teacher, I will also like to mention that such type of few more courses in the most of the subjects for mechanical engineering may please be conducted by IIT and such type of um, virtual classroom sessions may please be conducted. We can think of adding some uh, virtual laboratories, course of virtual laboratories or use of virtual laboratories while conducting this process. Particularly in the heat transfer of thermodynamics, if there would have been an exposure with the virtual laboratory, probably the course would have been more um, helpful and interesting as well as uh, more beneficiary, what I have feel. Again, thanks a lot to all your team and all those who are associated with this virtual classroom. Thank you very much. Over to you. Uh, VNIT Nagpur, over to you. Please be brief in your comments. Whatever subject of your interest in future, so kindly keep this sir and without any getting tired, continuously you are interacting throughout the 10 days uh, that uh, helps us and that keeps us young, young teachers to, you are, you are just like a benchmark for us to do the and uh, do the things in continuously as you are doing. Thank you sir. Uh, Kamins Pune, over to you. Please be brief. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, in the morning, you told uh, that I didn't see uh, the body language of the participants. This is the body language for the uh, participant from Cummins College. Thank you very much, sir. So all of uh, us are very impressed about your teaching. So uh, I will uh, hand over the mic uh, to one of my participants. Good afternoon, sir. It's nice. Uh to hear you. From 9 to 5.30 you are at the same tone. I don't, we don't know how you manage it. Now there is a problem of uh, number of uh, students uh, coming out. The industry is facing a severe transparency and engineering is not good. It's a factor. But I think if we all teachers inculcate at least one percent of your habit in all of us, I think we can produce very good engineers. That is what I think we should learn from you as far as the overall approach to any subject is concerned. Thank you, sir, for your kind guidance, for your guidance over the entire 10 days. It has been a fascinating experience. Thank you, sir. Vidya Pratishthan College, Baramati, over to you. Hey, sir, this is Imran Kureshi from Baramati. Uh, sir, I would like to thank, of course, you and your partner, Gaitonde, sir. I would also like to thank Bhandarkar, sir. And I, I would li also like to thank, uh, definitely, my coordinator, and uh, head of the department of mechanical institution here Baramati Sir, uh, I have seen that uh, you was dedicated last 10 days I am seeing that you was dedicated for us for the students only so that you were explaining all the ambiguities that we were having sincerely and uh, I am also glad to have a workshop like this even though I am not from the uh, region of Baramati or Pune I, I am from Aurangabad region and uh, sir, uh, this is uh, uh, very uh, good for me to attend this kind of workshop. Again, I thank you and uh, uh, the uh, uh, definitely your whole team of IIT Bombay. And uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, College of uh, Jabalpur College, uh, Jabalpur, over to you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I congratulate you on the successful completion of uh, this course on thermodynamics in mechanical engineering. We hope uh, that in future 
you will organize course on CFD and heat transfer. Heat transfer demand is much more from, from our participants. What do you uh, Somaya College, over to you. Sir, I would like to thank you first for conducting this first course in thermal engineer, thermal area. And I would like to continue in this program of heat transfer and CFD, maybe as a coordinator, participant, or maybe as a teaching assistant. So it was really a good course, and it's good that in thermal series, all courses you are going to conduct one by one. And all participants are very happy and satisfied after con uh, attending this program. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Uh, Periyar Maniammai College, Tanjavur. Over to you. Hello, sir. Uh, very good evening. I am Mari Muthu from Priyar Maniam University, Tanjavur. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, effortful and uh, successful workshop for us for the first two, two weeks, sir. And also, we are uh, we greetings to you to conduct a more useful workshop by the distance mode, which will be more beneficial for us. And also, we are very uh, happy and uh, satisfied about your workshop for the first two weeks. Thank you very much, sir. Over to you. Uh, government College, Salem. Uh, over to you. Sir, I am Professor Jayadev. I am the Principal Government College of Engineering, Salem. See, our team is very much happy about the presentation and the way in which you have explained the things and your dedication and your enjoyment in your way of expression and attracting and the body language, sir. We are all are very much happy. Now I hand over the mic to the science teacher who enjoyed the thermodynamics. Hello. Sir, I am sir, I'm the, one of the participants from Government College of Engineering, Salem. We like to give our feedback, sir. Your, it is really an opportunity to hear from you of this, uh, from a highly resourced person. And your delivery was excellent, and we appreciate your confident and clear discussion. You have been answering all the questions with a smiling face, and we also appreciate your punctuality, slow and sequential uh, lectures with uh, good illustrations. There is no words to, uh, we have to express our gratitude, sir. And uh, in our side, our coordinator and principal have made all the arrangements uh, in a comfortable manner. The audio and video are also very clear. The hospitality is good. So we are like to thank the team and the Russell for organizing this workshop uh, successfully, sir. And we have been uh, exposed to IIT style of teaching. And so I assure there will be definitely our method of teaching will also be the same and uh, our students will also be benefited. Thank you, sir. Over. Uh, okay, now that uh, brings me back onto the stage, and I have to do a few things as we wind up this course formally. Uh, the second part, it's something uh, if Professor Fatak were were here, he would definitely have done, and this is the vote of thanks for uh, personnel and teams which have made this uh, workshop possible. There are a number of teams involved in this workshop, working under various managers, and uh, the list is pretty long. So, thank you very much for making this a success to the studio team of Sajjan, Dikshit, and others, the software team of Dinesh, Rajnikant, and others, system administrators Abhilash and Ranjit the admin team of uh, Mukta, Mahindra and Sarita, the content team of Kalpana, Tanushri and others, then uh, the local accounts and funds being arranged by Jaya Gaitonde and Ujwala, uh, the AVU team from Amrita, which made all this uh, linking and it was a pleasant surprise to us that uh, the third quiz and the second quiz, we could absolutely smoothly conduct with hardly any hiccups for uh, approximately 
800 uh, candidates. Uh, then uh, we also thank CD for uh, making this seminar hall available to us and for general support and uh, upkeep and uh, running around all of Professor Fatak's office staff and uh, team members. Uh, after that, there is something that I want to say and then I will give my personal vote of thanks to a few people. Uh, that will be a technical one. Uh, I have enjoyed these two weeks of interacting with you. Uh, although I have complained once or twice about the lack of body language, the feedback I have received today near the end, including a mini demonstration of the body language from a distance, uh, that uh, I think I will take my complaints back. Uh, many of you have given feedback through Moodle and also through the formal feedback, raising me to the status of a god. Thank you very much for that. But there are a few people, many of you have uh, considered yourself to be Ekalavyas, maybe taking the hint from the Ekalavya project of Professor Fatak. What I want to say is you may consider yourselves to, ek, to be Ekalavyas, but I am not really Dronacharya and we do not expect the Dronacharya Ekalavya type of link here. In particular, banish the thought that I would like you to donate your thumb or any other finger or any part of you to me. And anyway, the similarity is not really proper, although I have no complaints against uh, complaints on the Ekalavya name. Uh, when Ekalavya developed his skills, uh, Dronacharya did not even know that there was a distance engineering, distance education student called Ekalavya trying to learn from him. Here we know, I am conscious of you through the remote mode that you are my students. You are uh, uh, seeing me as your teacher or a guru from here. So, I think I would like you to be not really Ekalavyas, but hope that you soon convert yourself to Arjunas of some kind. Uh, after having said that, I think I will conclude by saying that uh, I am grateful to my teachers who started my interest, uh, germinated the interest in thermodynamics and maybe accidentally, may not be consciously and sustained it over the years consciously when I joined on the faculty here. Uh, some names I will specifically take. Uh, all of these are teachers from IIT Bombay, uh, Professor uh, Sundar Rajan and Professor Vilatkar of Physics and Professors Achyutan, Jagadish, Jagan Mohan and Sukhatme from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, much of uh, my thoughts, much of the way that I have taught uh, has been inherited, imitated and built over from these people. Uh, that brings us to the end of this session. SGSITS Indore, over to you. I am providing you the opportunity to say the last word. Over. Good afternoon, sir. We are thankful to you for providing the conceptual knowledge for in the thermodynamics. This will definitely a teaching methodology to our student and some modifications of question which we use to ask in the examination. Thank you, thank you, and uh, we appreciate to you, sir. We welcome to next workshop also, sir. And thanks a lot from the our side. Over to sir. So that brings us to the formal end of our 10 day interaction. Uh, Professor uh, Kannan wants to say something. Yeah, this uh, response to, uh, in response to, you know, further activity, uh, does this work? Um, I want to talk about some of the related activities. Um, for example, uh, I see that there is interest for subsequent courses CFD and uh, um, heat transfer and so on. Uh, there are certain things we believe of interest will be of interest to mechanical mechanical engineers in the country. 
I would like to talk about uh, just uh, in a few words about um, some open source software packages uh, useful to mechanical engineers. Um, see, we work on a software called Scilab, which is a good equivalent to commercially available software called MATLAB. Now, MATLAB is very expensive for commercial organizations. In case your students want to become entrepreneurs or they want to try some software in companies, they will find MATLAB to be unaffordable. Scilab is the one. And then uh, the second one I want to mention is um, uh, CollabCAD. So, we are trying to popularize CollabCAD. This is a product developed by uh, um, NIC, National Informatics Center, BARC and ISRO. And this is a good substitute for AutoCAD. Uh, unfortunately, most people seem to think that design means AutoCAD. Actually, these two are two different things. For design, you can use other software packages also. CollabCAD is uh, something that uh, we are trying to popularize. The third one I want to mention is uh, the software called Open Foam. This is a good soft equivalent to Fluent. So, this is open source, this is open source. CollabCAD, it is not completely open source, but for the student version is available completely free of cost. And uh, we are working with the government agencies to provide maximum available, uh, maximum benefits available. So, these are three software uh, efforts happening at IIT Bombay and we would like your participation. Um, there is another effort we uh, have, it is called ask a question, ask a question series. It is uh, right now we are making this program available only in electrical engineering, where students ask their doubts uh, through a forum and one hour a week faculty members come and uh, answer their doubts. If there is enough interest in mechanical engineering, I am uh, pretty sure that our faculty will be interested in participating and answering questions. So, uh, these are all the things that uh, IIT Bombay is interested in, uh, is working on. If there is any interest, if you can write to the coordinators, uh, organizers here, we can uh, uh, provide more information. So, thank you.